Drumsy is one of my favorite YouTubers. Each week I excitedly look forward to his next upload because they're always hilarious and cheer me up. In fact, Drumsy is the only YouTuber that I have the notification bell on for. Anyway, I was in need of some cheering up so I decided to rewatch a few of his videos. Then I noticed something. Ow. Hey, that's assault. Oh, Brooke. Wait, that's kidnapping. It's cute. Look at the nice design on it. Did Drumsy just kill? That's when I realized Drumsy might be a cold-blooded psychopath. So I launched an investigation. I watched all of his VR chat videos, all 158 of them, going back to February 7th, 2018 to March 30th, 2021, and the results were shocking. Starting with his first video in VR chat, he fraudulently sells property he does not own. The real way is to invest in real estate right now. Now is the time. I do not have money, but I'm so good. You're going to invest in real estate, and here is a house right now. Come with me, come with me, come here. Come on, right here, this house, Corey in the house. There's no way you don't want this house. Someone already owns this house, but I already bought this house. It's mine. Wow, mission accomplished, guys. You can thank me later. I sold the house, and now you'll never have to see another Knuckles again. This may not seem like the worst crime, but most criminals start out doing petty crime before moving on to worst offenses. This is nothing in comparison to what's to come. For a second VR chat video, he attempts to murder a foreigner because he thinks he's ugly. What's following me? It looks like a wart. It does look like a wart. He needs to be removed <laughs> from life. Kermit, could you uh, hey. use the force or something, please? We gotta get rid of this guy. Only two videos in and Drumby's already showing his true colors. But we don't get to see his indifference to human life until the video Boy thinks he is a genius in VR chat, where he murders and mutilates a corpse into a cube. If you want hard evidence, allow me to show you some of my inventions. Here, you see a man that I've turned into a cubic form, uh, because as we know, the cube is the strongest shape. Then later in the same video, he coerces his cameraman into a vehicle, which he personally pilots into the abyss of space, and then shrugs off that he murdered someone. Hey, camera guy, I want you to jump in my invention. I'm gonna fly around, okay? Jump in there. Now, look me in the eyes, okay? Look me in the eyes, all right? I believe in you. I know this is your first day on the job, and your pay is very minimal. But, um, you have insurance, and, uh, if you get hurt here, I can promise you you're gonna survive, okay? And, uh, I'll throw in a little Christmas bonus for you. How does a $5 all-you-can-eat pancakes at Denny's sound? Throwing in. I'm gonna catch him! I'm gonna catch him! Workers are expendable. They're like passing cars. They come and they go. One might get bored and quit. Another may have a sick family member to go take care of. And one might crash an expensive intergalactic spacecraft into the cold, foggy abyss. Oh no, I missed him. Oh, I didn't catch him. Buddy! Buddy, are you okay? Um... Where is he? Listen! Uh, do you know any other good camera guys? Okay, I'm gonna get another one. Hey, you did a good job while it lasted. This won't be the last time that he shrugs off murder. In Boy Joins Cole in VR Chat, he drops somebody into a pit with an illegally purchased animal, killing them because he didn't like them insulting him. You two are sorry as fuck. Can you get back on the stage really quick? Can you get back on the stage really quick just for a second? Alright, hit the button. Oh, oh, shit. Who's funny now, bitch? Got drums, you finally put in the trap door. Whoops, I used all of our saved up money to buy a trap door. And our only potential recruit was now at the bottom of our trap pit, along with a ravenous chupacabra that we bought in Mexico. Did somebody mention terrorism? Because we got terrorism in VR chat has ruined an entire generation. Drumsy helps plant and blow up a school because he got bored of class. Like that's a mood, right? But still illegal. Speaking of school, you know who goes to school? Kids. You know who shouldn't be allowed near kids? Drumsy. No, it's not like that drum- no, 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 Drumsy isn't a pedo, though he did open the shower door on a kid showering. But no, no, he's a child murderer. Are you asking me if I'm prepared to kill a child? That is exactly what I'm asking. I will say this to you knowing that it will fully be clipped out of context and put on a record somewhere. I will help you kill a child. Let's not forget the three videos where he murders a child at the end. There's so many more examples of Drumsy killing in cold blood, but you might ask, what about his friends? 
Moxie, Peach, Illy, Emmy all have committed atrocious crimes on video. Perhaps his friends are making him do these crimes. First off, don't use the word perhaps. That's pretentious. Second off, Drumsy doesn't see these people as friends. Drumsy sees them as a mean to produce more content. He literally admitted that he imprisons them and takes them out for videos in when you spook your girl in the VR chat. That's why I lock most of my friends in my reinforced basement with no option of escape. But on the topic of their crimes, you'll see that most of the time that the crimes they commit were coerced by him. In Kid Fights Drunk People in VR, Drumsy, in need of content, boozes up a miner and then forces him to get into a bunch of bar fights. Those bar fights weren't Moxie's fault. The only thing that Moxie was at fault for was trusting Drumsy not to use and abuse him. Moxie literally states in lo-fi VR chat moments to study slash quarantine to, I hate everything you've ever made me do. Moxie has no say in the things that he does in the videos, and I would assume the same for Drumsy's other captors. While yes, Scottish girl Illy did rampage a village and kill countless people in the video, this Scottish girl is too big for VR chat, I ask you, how did she become giant? How did she find this village? Surely, Drumsy did not inject her with a growth serum, let her loose in a village, then took advantage of her deteriorating mental condition for content. That was sarcasm, that's exactly what I think happened. For God's sake, Drumsy made Peach commit three counts of vehicular manslaughter by pushing people in front of her car in She Ruined Driving Class and coerced her into committing hate crimes against furries in the video Invading the Furry Community. If somehow all the evidence I have shown you thus far hasn't convinced you that Drumsy is a psychopath, then maybe Brooke and Emmy's existence will convince you. As shown in the video, my VR chat girlfriend eats sand. Brooke is a confirmed sociopath. Even hired a professional psychologist to take a deep dive into the mind of Brooke. Can you help us do some detective work and, and figure out the mystery that is Brooke? Yes, I can do that. First thing I notice right off the bat, she is a sociopath. She doesn't feel emotions like me and you. Oh. Studies show that those with psychopathic and sociopathic behavior are often more attracted to each other. And now who did Brooke date? Drumsy. They were attracted to each other because of their personality disorders. <laughs> this would explain Emmy as well. Emmy very clearly is a psychopath as she's admitted to 45 counts of arson before meeting Drumsy. We don't know where she came from, but we do know that she just gravitated to Drumsy. If I had to total up his crimes, it would be as following. 5 counts of breaking and entering, 14 counts of assault, 3 counts of supplying alcohol to a minor, 5 counts of prostitution, 14 counts of child abuse, 10 counts of kidnapping, 7 counts of manslaughter, 24 counts of murder, 1 count of terrorism, and 1 count of genocide. Oh, did I forget to mention genocide? And a plethora of other crimes that up to 194 total crimes over the span of 3 years. This man is a dangerous psychopath that has no care for human life. All he cares about is the number of likes and the number of subscribers he gets. I would say he should be arrested, but I know he'll just continue his rampage in prison. <sighs> Besides, I'm not a cop. I'm not a judge. I can't just arrest and sentence people willy-nilly. Otherwise, I'm not better than him. But I do know one way that Drumsy can pay for his crimes. One way that will punish him.